Long before we ever thought of retail megaplexes and online grocery shopping, Australians relied on one magical small business that somehow met all our needs. The corner shop. Welcome to our store. It sold everything. Milk, bread. Please make that sliced for us. You can lose body parts with that thing. Balls of string, birthday candles, pantyhose. I used to wear these. And all of that came with a chin wag free of charge. Bonjour! We've called it lots of different things over the years. The milk bar, the corner shop, the deli, the mixed business, the grocer. And every time we've changed as a people, it's changed along with us. But now you can get anything you want at vast supermarkets or even delivered to your door on a bike. Where does that leave the humble Aussie corner shop? It invented convenience in this country. Which ones do you want? That one. But is it worth more to our communities than the price tag value of the goods it sells? I'm starting to remember this from my childhood. One brave family is going back in time to answer these questions. For Ron and son, where is the daughter? Why is this not a man's job? Should I get a motorbike? Could I be wearing any worse clothes? How do you click dial? That's right, the Farones are back. <laughs> oh, that's Mum. They're going to run this corner store. Not bad for a lady driver. And find out firsthand how merchandise, hey, kids. shoppers, and cultures reflect a rapidly changing world. Voila! With the help of some special guests. Craig Foster, what a legend. That's my mother. The 70s saw a big change to give women a voice. Check this out, a male centrefold. We knew how many sheep, but we didn't know how many Aboriginal people there were. They'll relive the good times. Chippies! Oh, oh hell yeah. yum. And work through the bad times. Um, where'd everything go? We got robbed. family is experiencing the life of the shopkeeper, living and working through 150 years of Australian history. This is Back in Time for the Corner Shop.